Welcome back inside the stash. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the contest tables for the uh, Salvage Yard Old Potbelly Gang. Uh, there's two clubs there. Um, I believe the Salvage Yard Model Club is what they are calling themselves uh, going forwards, but this is sort of the conjunction of a club that it was uh, um, phasing itself out and a new club that had been formed. They sort of called with both titles at the club to sort of, uh, you know, draw in everybody, I guess, because most people would be used to it as being a uh, certain name to the show, so carry over that name one more year to, uh, you know, for us locals, basically, to realize what the show was, although the show has always been more or less the same weekend at the end of October, and I don't think it really matters what you call it necessarily. People would have known what it was. Uh, personally, from the, my aspect, uh, for people who have been long-time uh, watchers of this channel know that I used to be part of a club called the South Hills Modelers Association here in Pittsburgh. That club no longer exists, disbanded about two years ago, and we held a show in uh, late March. The Three Rivers Auto Modelers, which is the well-established, uh, or longest established, I guess, technically, it's, it's split off a couple of different ways uh, as well over the years, but it's still operating. Uh, as sort of the long, longest contiguously operating club in Pittsburgh for car models, they have their show in the very, very end of September. And you would have a number of people who did not realize that those were two different clubs. Now, granted, uh, when the club split to Three Rivers and South Hills Modelers Association, a lot of those members who were part of Three Rivers went to uh, SHMA, and, you know, it was easy to see why you were confused as to who was running what, because the people who used to run this ran that instead. But at the same time, it was two different times of the year, seven months apart. But, yeah, it didn't matter. So the naming rights of this show, I don't think it could matter what they call it. They'd just be like plastic things on a table and people would show up because they know what uh, it is and who's running it. So there were 100 models on the table exactly at the time I took this video. I think it was about half an hour before registration closed, so I don't think anything else showed up other than what you're going to see here. I personally did not enter the show as the uh, 320 uh, had already been to the show. My personal uh, way I deal with contest models is they go to a show once unless they're later put into a collection, which in IPMS land is five models that are attached to each other in some very specific way, like they're all the same car, or they're all the same race team, or if you did like five uh, Mobius trucks, great example, right? There's like 14 of those kits, so if you built five of them, they would all be attached by being the same truck, essentially, by the same manufacturer, and the same kit company. So you can pull a collection with that. Anyway, IPMS rules aside, um, this had already been to the, the 320 that was uh, that got me that second place in that show in Virginia earlier in October, which of course is you know three months ago now. Uh, had already been to the show last year, didn't do anything, which is uh, not to be uh, too shocked uh, based on the uh, likes of the crew that runs the show. No shade there, just the facts of the matter. Certain shows run with certain uh, you know preferences and that's just the way it is i don't go to shows to win things in the first place it's all about the social setting and seeing friends here in pittsburgh this is basically the last get together of the year for a lot of us so we won't see each other again probably until uh march 9th i think would probably be the earliest some folks will go to uh the columbus ipms show at the end of february but the pittsburgh ipms show the club that i now belong to show is march 9th which is about three weeks earlier than it usually is conflict of scheduling blah 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 and uh <laughs> a lot of the f it's a big uh, w well attended by car modelers because it is usually the first show of the year in pittsburgh and it's always been a pretty car heavy ipms contest uh anyway so uh enough blathering about me this is basically the last video we have recorded from last year so from uh this point on content will be uh new if you will in the sense of things that will be recorded in the new year uh, hope everybody had a great Christmas. Everybody had uh, a safe New Year's weekend. You didn't get too wild and crazy. I'm on a three-day weekend. Didn't go on like a on a 48-hour bender or anything for any of you folks. And uh, again, this is the contest tables for the Old Potbelly Gang Savage Yard Model Car Show held October. 
in the uh, end of October. The date's not on the top of my tongue, so I'm not going to say the wrong one, but the end of October in 2023. Hope you enjoy it. See you guys on the other side. Participants can have the knowledge. Uh, we have an independent judging group, and they pick their selected classes, and then we arrive at some winners. So uh, between now and 12 o'clock, I'd like to run one more 50-50. If you're interested, uh, see Hannah over here at the registration table, or Lorraine at the door, and we'll get that taken care of. We'll call that 50-50 right after the model car awards. And then we're going to give the vendors another round of tickets for a free table. All right? You 
don't have enough money to bother so we have to reset everything into this plan. We're building up from an actual car or building all this stuff in the same way. Yeah, never too old, man. Never too old. 